The Academy Award-nominated movie Hidden Figures has become quite the blockbuster, but before there was a movie, there was a book detailing the story of four phenomenal women whose wit and intelligence helped lead America into space. We sat down with Hidden Figures author Margot Shetterly. I started working on Hidden Figures six years ago. I'm from Hampton Roads. My dad is a NASA Langley research scientist. And my husband and I came home to visit over Christmas, and my dad happened to be talking about some of the women that he had worked with at NASA. My husband was um, intrigued and couldn't believe that this was a story that he had never heard of. Um, so I said to myself, well, I, I knew these women, but I did not know the story. And that was really the beginning of what became Hidden Figures. Many women worked as so-called computers for NASA, solving complex equations, even creating the algorithms that propelled the U.S. into space. Shetterly's story of that space race focuses on four of NASA's black women mathematicians, Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, and Christine Darden. Mrs. Johnson uh, is known for her work calculating and doing the math on the trajectory for John Glenn's orbital flight. Dorothy Vaughn was the first black supervisor. She was the supervisor of the segregated West Area Computing Unit. Mary Jackson was the first African-American female engineer at NASA. And Christine Darden stood on the shoulders of all three of those women, and she became um, someone who is still renowned for her work on sonic boom phenomena and supersonic flight. And she actually became uh, promoted into the senior executive service for NASA. Shetterly says we can draw inspiration from the courageous women depicted in Hidden Figures. It's a story that tells both the difficult parts of our country um, and also some of the uh, more uh, optimistic parts of our, our country. Um, and I really hope that people take some, not just enthusiasm, but you know, take something from the tenacity of these women who got up and went to work every day under circumstances that you know, required them to go to the colored bathroom or the colored cafeteria. Um, and yet they did their best and, and look what they were able to achieve. So I think this is a, a, an excellent story for the times that we're in right now. A recent study found young girls think of themselves as less smart than boys. Shetterly believes the lives and accomplishments of the women depicted in Hidden Figures show young girls just the opposite. That's one of the reasons why people have shown so much enthusiasm for this story. It's like here we are discovering that hundreds of women, perhaps more than a thousand, and women were working at NASA, right, one of the world's largest, most important, most influential scientific and engineering organizations. They were on the, the job for the better part of the 20th century and were only now waking up to the fact that they were there. Um, you know, the thing about this story is it proves statistically, not just anecdotally, but, you know, with numerical evidence that women are good at math, given a chance, you know, that uh, people of color, that women of color um, can come into these scientific positions and do extraordinary work. Shetterly hopes new information and shifting perspectives will bring even more women the recognition they deserve. As, as we understand more about what they did and, you know, we kind of uh, look at their contributions with a different frame, I think it will be more likely that not only these women, but many women like them will start getting the credit for the work that they did over the decades. As for the success of the movie version of her book? I think there's a lot of different people who are eager to see themselves, whether it's African-Americans or women or scientists. You know, this is a movie that I think makes mathematicians and scientists really cool. It does, if you've seen the movie. How much impact do you think this will have on little girls, especially little African-American girls? I think it'll have a tremendous impact. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of cinema, admittedly, but <laughs> I think the, the talk around this movie is huge. It's, it's it's going to help younger gals understand that there are women of color, not only in science and math, but there are women of color that can rise to prominence. And it may take time, but uh, you know, I was a little girl who n didn't grow up thinking well, I was a woman. Well, you went to engineering college. school. I was. College, I studied right? engineering on a scholarship. I was given a chance to show I was good at math. So when you see it in everyday public life, that look, there are these women. They're strong and did something that women aren't thought to always do. 
and the story was hidden, but it's come out now, it, it's huge. It's going to have an impact on the minds of these younger women. Anything that tells women and girls that and encourages them to be in STEM, I think is fantastic. And this wasn't just about women breaking barriers. It was it's about sexism and racism and segre and segregation. I mean, they couldn't even go to the use the same bathrooms as white people when these women were working at NASA. So they, they showed the woman, story. you know, beautifully dressed running in the rain yeah. in high heels. Uh, a half a mile yeah. to the colored bathroom. Yeah. I mean, How it much really made you, <clears throat> it made you hate. I actually understand that that part probably wasn't true as it, the men also were composite characters, but overall the story is fabulous. I've seen the movie multiple times. I think it should be shown in every secondary school in the country multiple times, and it should get the Oscar. It's not going to, which is just a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering how long it was between the time she actually wrote that book and when it was optioned for Hollywood because if it wasn't like e optioned bef while she was even writing it, it was way too late as far as I'm concerned. I don't know the answer to that, um, but uh, given that the Oscars are on tonight, I, I, I do think, uh, you know, I worked in the entertainment business for 17 years and I do think that there are these moments that where um, storytelling captures something that feels very real in society in a way and tells the story in a way that brings makes policy you know seem very uh, connected to people and I think this is one of those movies and I think um, I hope it does well and you know one of my pet peeves is I never had a female role model um, and these women never had black or female role models and yet they were able to get to the very top of their professions so does is this does this show you you don't really need a role model who well they looks did have like teachers you. who appreciated them yes. and supported they them supported in the them. classroom they had and their families and, too. and i families. think you know it, it, to, we can never give teachers enough credit in my view um uh, going forward but uh, the the role that teachers are playing and the role that teachers need to play going forward in a world that is changing so much traditional education is not preparing kids today for the jobs of tomorrow, nothing is more important than those STEM programs. So this movie comes at a really good time. All right, and I always say uh, we should be paying teachers what football players make <laughs> and the other way around Agreed. for the football players.